Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Cobra Space Program. Today we're going to be playing the Timberdine mod and it is episode 3. Right now I'm going to give a quick overview of the Timberdine mod and I'll just read it from the website. Uh, it features more than 40 parts to replicate most of the functioning and real world NASA and Buren shuttle systems. It has two sets of wings, NASA and Russian style boosters and engines, functioning wheels, cargo bays, docking ports and anything you need to launch a shuttle and rendezvous with a orbital station like the ISS. If you love the shuttle program you'll like this pack. So yes, and uh, let me start off by telling you guys what exactly it needs to run. You need to install MechJeb and MK3 internal cockpits mod in order to get this mod working, okay? So please note that. So first off, as you can see here, uh, we have the shuttle, and it looks really, really cool. It's very uh, defined, many features, and let's start off with the, the cargo bay here. So first off, if you press number three on your keyboard, and the cargo bay will close and do what it wants, <laughs> and you can do the same thing to open it up. And if you look here, this is an extendable port, so if you just click extend port, that will extend outwards. Okay, and that is very important because if you want to dock your, you know, your station or something to this, it won't be able to dock right there where my mouse is because that it would hit the pod here. So it extends out so that it doesn't hit the pod. It's pretty useful. So just press three. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. retract, retract. Okay, nothing bad happened. All right, awesome. Here, the engines here aren't very realistic. It actually has a jet engine two of them, turbojet engines. I don't think the real one in, in real life has that, but um, yeah, and these are pretty strong. And it also has cool RCS features, look at this. If I move, look at that. I've got a very, and look, they actually come out from this areas. How cool is that? Very nice, and look back here, and look at this. This is the air intake, and it looks <laughs> very realistic, eh? Yeah. Look at that. Very cool, and that the flow is adjusting itself. I don't know why, but anyway, let's just uh, try this thing out. It's gonna be really cool. I turn off the brakes, full throttle, space bar. Maybe I should turn the brakes on temporarily. I'll just do a quick fly around, then we'll continue on with this mod. Uh, we'll go to the boosters. Really like to try the boosters out. So let's just right click the turbo jet engine, and yeah, let's just launch this. Come on. Move. That's the problem with the brakes. Yeah, after you turn off the brakes, the damn thing struggles to move afterwards. All right, so we can lift off very soon. There we go. Kaboom. No. There we go. All right. Yep. So it is fun to fly around. I think I don't think I need RCS now, but um, yeah, the turn rate is absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna have caps lock on. Hopefully that helps me out. And if you press number number two on your keyboard these engines will turn on the rocket engines and of course you can turn them off just by pressing number two again so yeah that's fun uh, we can go ahead and land this that's damn it it just turns so fast and look at these cool wheels look at this very cool wheel I don't think that's part of the mod but I don't know <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so let's land it let's hope my landing skills are still good not nope, terrible smashed <laughs> that looks so fake. It's the way it's smashed. Alright, well, let's continue on. Now it is time to launch our space shuttle. First thing you want to do is press number three to close the cargo bay doors. That is very important. First, now we just press T for SAS. Throttle up to about halfway. That would do. Space bar, and then, well, you don't really need to do anything. Uh, just move this down. Space bar. And that will do its thing. How nice. Very easy. And what we do now is throttle up a little bit more. And yeah, that should take us along. Let's move this around. Now we can use MechJeb on the right hand side here to control our our shuttle, but I'm not gonna do that. Just manually do it. I think we learn more by by manually doing this stuff. Now these boosters will waste once you get to around here in the atmosphere. You see where my mouse is? Around there, that's when the boosters will waste. So, be cautious about that. And yeah, it's looking quite good. And I'll probably be back with you once the I separate these boosters and 
then after that when I'm in space, well almost in space. So see you in a bit. And here we go, ready for separation, spacebar. Ah, uh, did that even hit the space shuttle? It looked like it did. <laughs> Not good. And make sure you throttle up to the max right now because the space shuttle here is the only thing that's carrying everything. And I want to continue going up. Let's just adjust the angle here. Yeah, perfect. Perfect door. Okay. Stop there. Let's find the uh, prograde. That is the prograde right there. And then we can do still burn. Let's check here. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Oh, actually, just a little bit more. Right there will do. Yeah, yeah, that will do. Check on the orbit. It's doing well. Yes, we're gonna get it, and we are gonna have a lot of leftover fuel. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, very nice. All right. So we have a little bit of fuel left. Use it up. <laughs> Why not? Space bar. And we're gonna probably do another screenshot here. And I love these screenshots. Goodbye. Now, be cautious. Once you detach this, you don't want to smash into it. Um, yeah, if there wasn't separatrons on this thing, that would be great. But there aren't. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. We can turn this thing around. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I forgot to, to turn on SAS for that one moment. Okay. Now, we are done. That is it. That is pretty much the mod. So, if you had a space station around here, all you could do is, um, you know, open up this thing. If you had any parts to attach and just connect it to the space station, it's very simple. Very cool. I don't know what you could have in here. Anything you want, really. Like a mini, mini rocket. <laughs> that would be cool. But we aren't going to drop any payloads because we don't have a space station, do we? No. But we're going to head and get a bit of a uh, re-entry heat I think or oh, how much fuel do we have uh, spacebar let's check um, it's enough to get to the moon but I don't think it's enough to go to Duna or anything like that so we're just gonna go ahead and do the re-entry so let me work on that and I'll be right back alrighty so what I'm gonna do now is on the retrograde here just do a quick burn that will shrink the orbit Right on the opposite side, which is over here. That should do its thing. Do your thing. All right, and that is still 35. Yeah, pretty much gonna hit the atmosphere either way. Yeah, perfect. All right, fast forward a bit. What time warp? In other words, that's the correct way of saying it. And yeah, this is looking good. I ah, love that music. <laughs> haven't haven't listened to music in a while in KSP. Like, I haven't played the game at all. It's good to play it again every now and then. So let's correct our position here. Oh, press number three. We don't these cargo base doors open, do we? No, we don't. And uh, in regards to the KSP competition that I promised you guys, I'm thinking like a competition where you guys just have to guess the number. So that's a pretty simple one. Or the other option is we guys had have to like, I don't know, make some pictures or something, draw something. But I don't know any if any of you guys are artists, <laughs> so probably the number one would be easier. Just guess a random number out of 100 or something like that. But and the prize will be the KSP game. So for the it's for those people that don't have KSP because I really like those people to have to be able to play the game. That'd be great. That'd be very good. Alright, so now let's go to the pro grade and just do a burn. Yeah. So that will increase our speed towards Kerbin. Hopefully, that doesn't increase the orbit. It is. Okay, let's point that downwards a little bit more just to the point where it is decreasing. In altitude, perfect. And this side here will increase. Awesome. Okay. That is looking good. Very nice. Let's check the out this thing here. Yep, perfect. 
plenty of fuel. I mean, we've been going on for quite a while. That's a good thing about. That's what's really good about this. There's a whole lot of fuel. Where are the jet engines? Wait. Are oh, there aren't any jet engines on this design? That's disappointing. All right. Fuel is empty. No more fuel. And that's it. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is looking very nice. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with the uh, the MK3 internal cockpit mod. I don't really see much here. I don't know what's going on with that. But yep, that is it. We are going super fast. I will be making uh, designs of the week soon. I'm gonna upload Spore probably second because a lot of people have been asking me to to do that. So see you next time.